everybody. Welcome back to Burst TV. My name is Charlotte. I am the host and executive producer here. In the midst of a pandemic, dental professionals are without a doubt very high risk for contracting this very contagious virus. It's scary stuff. One strategy beyond the usual personal protective equipment is to actually reduce aerosols during dental procedures. Now for a dental hygienist, this means maybe not using the tools that are oftentimes necessary to provide the best care for patients and to reduce strain on their own bodies. In a past segment, we talked a bit about aerosol capturing devices. These were the external evacuation systems. But today I wanted to talk about powered instruments that actually produce less spray. I had the pleasure of virtually meeting Flavio Quintella on LinkedIn, actually, and he is the CEO at Healthy Ultrasonics, and they have a newer piezo unit and tips that produce a nice soft drip, not the typical spray that I'm used to seeing with the ultrasonic um, Cavitron type system. Hi, Burst Nation. My name is Flavio, and I'm an engineer slash journalist slash book author slash entrepreneur with a passion for dental health. I brought Healthy Ultrasonic to the United States in 2014. Back then, my dream was to bring our technology and innovation to American dental professionals and show them our cutting edge solutions to their daily challenges. That's still my dream and we've been fulfilling it. So I'm honored to be here with you today and I hope you enjoy what you see. Okay, so thinking about the safety of my friends in this industry and, and especially the Burst community members that are working clinically on the front lines here, I thought it would be really great for him to give us a little more information about this product since it's new to me and it's probably new to you guys. So I did what I usually do. I grabbed some volunteers. I told them briefly about the product and they have questions. My question is about the tip of the instrument. Would I be able to access a five to six millimeter pocket comfortably for my patients? So the low spray line has three tips, LS1, LS2, and LS3. The LS1 is for shallow pockets, but LS2 and LS3 can easily treat five to six millimeter pockets, as you asked. No problem with that. The nice thing about those tips is their shape. So they are very thin blades, you know, that can go easily into subgingival areas. And one thing that we have been, you know, having as feedback from professionals is how gentle they are. So even sensitive patients who usually we uh, require an aesthetic, and they are, they are being treated without any anesthetics and without pain. So that's a very nice thing. Hi, Michelle here. Um, so I'm excited to learn a little more about this new product, uh, this new piezo. So I think one of the biggest concerns right now with hygiene and COVID is that we're trying to limit the number of aerosols. So most of us, I think it's safe to say we're not using our ultrasonic scalers or Profi jets. And short term, that's fine. But long term, you know, a year from now to still be hand scaling all of our patients, um, I think that could bring a lot more fatigue to us and, and burnout. And, you know, we're not as effective with our cleanings as well. So hearing that there's less aerosols being produced with this product is wonderful. But I guess my concern with that is how do we know there's less aerosols? What, like, how can we gauge that there's less aerosols with this, this specific scaler compared to another product? Um, so yeah, that would be my question is, can you let us know how there, how we know there's less aerosols being produced and how it's safe and effective for both the patient and the clinician? Uh, can't wait to hear your answers. Thanks. Hi, Michelle. Thank you very much for the question. That's a, a very nice question, very important one. First of all, we were very careful not to advertise a specific aerosol reduction percentage because although studies have shown a significant reduction in, our, in the aerosol levels, they haven't been published yet. Nevertheless, we have plenty of videos like this one that we're showing now where the mirror stays dry during the procedure. Now that is something quite impossible with regular scaling inserts. Now, why do our low spray tips reduce aerosol? Two reasons. One, the water 
in our tips, the water flows through the tip, inside. There's a canal inside the tip, and it takes the water exactly, you know, in the very end of it, where it needs to be. And in other inserts, the water flows on the surface of the tip. So that, you know, that water sprays because the vibration sprays it. The second reason is that our tips are made and optimized to use the lowest power setting possible and in order and to get the same efficiency but with lower power. So the lower the power, the lower the spray. So when you combine those two things, then you get the whole reduction that you know that we're showing here. But thank you again for the question and it's very good to be able to clarify it. I'm curious to know, what is the power in kilohertz compared to other ultrasonic cleaners? Nice technical question. First, let's differentiate. Capture units generate ultrasonic energy using magnetostrictive vibration. That means, you know, the insert moves elliptically and within the frequency range of 20 to 40 kilohertz. And with piezo on the other side, they generate ultrasonic energy using piezoelectric vibration. And that means the tip moves side to side, not elliptically. So when you use it, you have to use it in the same you know, direction that it vibrates. And the frequency range goes from 30 to 50 kilohertz. So a little bit higher. Uh, some advantage of piezo units are uh, they require less water not to control heat and that impacts directly in, in the aerosol effect they can be used in patients with pacemakers even the you know the older pacemakers the handpiece does not vibrate so that gives you know the profession of finer control it's also nicer to to use it's a little uh better in terms of grip because it's not as as thin and the tips are really hard to bend or break. You're not gonna bend them during the procedure, that's for sure. And also, you know, in, in clinics where you have other specialties, the same unit can be used for uh, root canal treatment, restorative dentistry, and surgery. So it's very versatile. Awesome. Okay. So one more question, and it's important because I'm, I'm sure anybody seeing this is also, uh, they'll be bound to wonder about the cost. So how expensive is this? How much are we talking? So the bundle of three low spray tips, the LS1, LS2, and LS3 is selling for $252. Individually, they cost $89 each. Now, if the professional does not have a piezo unit, we have a complete kit with our unit and the three tips for $780. Besides the low spray tips, we also have nine other tip models for scaling and perio, and those range from $58 to $69 each. Thank you so much for taking the time to give us a little more insight about this product. Burst is not sponsored or motivated by doing segments like this. Um, it's fun for me. I believe it's impactful to share some of the new things that are coming out on the market. Um, and I appreciate him being here. And in the words of that cool nerdy scientist guy, you know, Albert Einstein, I have no special talent. I am only passionately curious. Yeah, that's me. Thank you for being here. If you like content like this, make sure to give us a little love by, I don't know, giving us a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel. And of course, let us know if you have questions. Leave them in the comments and let's get the discussion going. Until next time.